points okay so today we see the total main points so most remembering points uh, in atomic structure chapter okay first we see about the this protein topic that is fundamental particles okay now you see some properties of fundamental particles that is about mass charge evm ratio okay now first see about electron so for electrons what is the charge what is the charge of electron in terms of minus minus 19 coulombs and it is also taken as minus 4.802 sorry into 10 power minus 10 electrostatic units yes. okay next generally it is taken as relative charge is one generally okay it's generally taken as minus 1 it is called relative charge no need to write it then what are the mass what is the mass of electron so we know that uh, it is a negligible mass 9.109 into 10 power minus 31 kilograms, or 9.109 into 10 power minus 28 just grams. And sometimes it is also given in terms of uh, atomic mass units. That is a uh, 0.00054 atomic mass units. When it is compared to the mass of hydrogen atom. That is one by eighteen thirty six part of weight of hydrogen atom. So this is for electron. So we need to remember all these always through the problems in chemistry. Okay, not for the atomic structure. For any chapter, we need to know uh, these properties. Now see what about the proton. Okay, what about the same properties for proton? Okay. So what is the charge of proton? Exact electron charge, proton charge is similar, but they are different their sign. Electrons are negative, these are positive. Okay. So see for coulombs here. electrostatic units so what is the mass so the mass is somewhat high when compared to the mass of electron that is generally taken as 1.672 into 10 to the power of sorry minus 27 kilo na gram okay r uh, equal to the mass of one hydrogen atom let's see about the neutrons okay Okay, for neutrons, so there is no charge. Okay, they are chargeless. That is, but they are neutral. So, what is the mass? So, these are having the highest mass than electron and proton. That is the one point six seven three minus twenty seven kilogram.
or in a means that is a 0 point zero zero eight six seven so atomic mass units okay then we we have some other formulas that is for e by m of charge to mass ratio charge to mass ratio of a electron and proton okay charge to mass ratio that is taken as generally e by m okay so e by m of electron so e by m of electron is 1.7582 double i2 okay into 10 to the power of 11 coulomb per kg or 1.75 double i2 into 10 to the power of 8 and per kg per kg of it converts to 10 power 8 this is equal gram next so the same thing is also calculated for protons so generally it is a rare example rare value given for protons e by m of proton is equal to approximately 9.58 into 10 to the power of 7 or 2 per gram so here see the mass of electron is negligible so mass of electron negligible so e by m m is in denominator so that's why e by m value if uh, electron is higher than e by m of proton and also for neutron also but for neutron there is no possibility of e by m charged by mass so charge less color there is no e by m value okay so this is about uh, remember points for fundamental particles Next we see the other topics, uh, the formulas of other topics that is uh, relation between uh, wave characteristics, relation between wave characteristics. Okay. So, what are the wave characters generally? What are the main properties of a wave? That is a frequency, a wavelength, wave number, amplitude, nothing but speed. Now, we see that relations. Okay. You know, free, nu is equal frequency. Okay. That is main relation is nu is equal c by lambda. Okay. Next, here for nu lambda what is the relation inversely proportional it is present in denominator so we can write mu1 by mu2 is equal inversely so there is lambda 2 by lambda 1 next there is nu bar that is wave number wave number equal that is only 1 by lambda so again wave number lambda has inversely proportional mu1 bar by Nu2 bar is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. Next, the substitute this here. So nu is equal to c into the place of 1 by lambda we can write to nu bar. Now what is the relation nu nu bar directly proportional? nu1 by nu2 is equal to nu1 bar by nu2 bar okay 
so these are the main relations between them and here the common point the common thing is c so what is c here c is a speed of light what is its value 10 power 10 centimeter per second if you take in meters that is 10 power 8 meters per second here nu is equal to frequency next what is the new bar wave number what is lambda that is wave length the frequency general what are the units heads second inverse or kilo heads for wave number distance inverse that is centimeter inverse or meter inverse for wavelength many units small size double t then we will take the small units of distance angstroms picometers nanometers etc okay so in the speed of light so these are the relation between a uh, wave characteristics okay so now we see the other formulas So you have to write all these formulas also in the notes uh, after the completion of this chapter. Okay. Next about Planck's quantum theory. So Planck's quantum theory. So the Planck's quantum theory, what are the main formulas? Is start with e is called H nu. So actually this equation for this is for one particle. This is very important. Nothing but generally there is one photon. One photon summoning energy ki e is called H nu and we change it to h nu in the place of nu we can write c by lambda so h c in the place of 1 by lambda we can write nu bar so these are the different relations for the energy of photon and its wave property so energy frequency directly proportional so a1 by e2 is equal to mu1 by mu2 for e for lambda inversely proportional e1 by e2 is equal to so that is lambda 2 by lambda 1 that is inversely proportional together next e and the nu bar directly proportional so we can write e1 by e2 is equal to mu1 bar by mu2 bar Here important what is H? The different thing is only H. So H is it's known as Planck's constant. Planck constant. So what is its value? 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second. There will be many are confusing in at the place of joule into second. So many are used to write joule per second. So it is not like that. It is just joule into second. Minus 27 erg into 
second. So jaw length main indicates about the energy terms. So here we can write the relation. One jaw is equal to ten to the power of seven angles. Okay, so these are the formulas for Planck's quantum theory. Okay. Next, we see the formulas related to photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect. Uh, so this concept mainly supports the particle nature of light. So what is the main formula? What is the basic formula in it is H2 is equal to so W or some books it is also given W naught plus kinetic energy. So W naught means that is known as work function nothing but h nu naught plus kinetic energy to calculate uh, kinetic energy we convert them into h nu minus h nu naught so uh, by commoning h we will get uh, nu minus nu naught this is one formula and by changing a new is equal we know c by lambda c by lambda in the place of new we can write c by lambda this is c by lambda naught so now we can write uh, head c is common becomes uh, sorry 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught Right, in different terms, lambda is the kinetic energy, nu is the kinetic energy, okay? Directed the energy is the kinetic energy. And one by lambda, we can write nu bar, okay? So nu bar minus nu naught bar. Okay, these are the different uh, terms for photoelectric effects. Here now we see so what is H nu naught? H nu sorry. H nu means uh, energy of past the light. Or energy of uh, light. So here what is H nu naught? Okay, here it is called work function. Work function. So what is the work function means? It is minimum energy need. to eject the electrons to eject the electron from the atoms of metal surface Okay, that is H nu naught.
next here important one the new knot so generally there is a separate uh, name is there for new knot new new indicate the frequency so here new means uh, the frequency of the light passed on the metal h to addition but that is energy form and new knot also energy of uh, sorry frequency of uh, that energy light required to remove the electron nothing but to eject the electron so this is known as threshold frequency very important word threshold frequency so it is known as the minimum frequency minimum frequency need to eject the electron from the atoms of metal surface and remaining terms we know that h planck's constant kinetic energy so in the place of kinetic energy sometimes we can write this formula for various calculation we need to change this basic formula into different forms and the problems based is kore so different different formulas we just them so con basic concept equation in one okay so that name of so h nu not nothing but it's w not or w work function and so this can be sometimes when we can our problem based is kore we need to use any of these formulas h nu is equals H nu naught plus half m v square. Okay, these are the different formulas related to photoelectric effect. You have to write and remember the all formulas in the notebook. okay just uh, practice uh, practice for two three times just close the book and uh, practice write the all formulas okay without saying uh, write the all formulas present in atomic structure Okay, now we see the formulas related to spectra. Okay, we know the spectra is an impression. Nothing but is a specific diagram for. It is unique diagram for atoms or different substances. So the basic formula for the spectral line that is the main formula. At first, the formula is given. by bomber series nothing but given by bomber for wave number of spectral lines but here we are writing general formula not for the bomber series at first uh, at first wave number spectral line formula is given by bomber only for bomber series so afterwards it is shifted to uh, for all series of lines by ribbon now this we are writing the general formula which is applicable for all series of lines so there is new bar is equal ribbon constant 1 by n1 square One by n two square into z square. 
here r equal sometimes it is also written as r for h for hydrogen that is 109 Hilbert constant so that is uh, atomic number we know that for hydrogen that is equal to 1 there is no problem but for hydrogen like atoms so only atoms is common we formula for hydrogen or hydrogen like atoms hydrogen like atoms means uh, which are having one electron that is helium plus lithium plus 2 barium plus 4 all systems having one electrons are called hydrogen like atoms or ions and here important uh, so n1 n2 values okay, there is a different uh, series are present they are Lyman for Lyman series what is n1 1 and n2 is equal to 2 3 4 etc depends on number up to infinity okay means uh, Lyman series lines approve form of the energy higher states to the higher states to the first level of the electrons uh, any higher state second to the third to the fourth to the any higher states to the first look the electron jump or the approach energy release the energy radiation will have my lines form of the cover n1 equal 1 and so n1 equal 1 down and what are the first ties 2 to the 2 to the 3 to the 4 to the other okay Make this is for first line, second line, third line. Let's see for Balmer series. So similarly we can write N2 is equal to second log of say Balmer series. Second log order what is the first choice? 3, 4, 5 up to infinity. So what about passion series? Next bracket series. So n1 is equal to 4 and 2 is equal to 5, 6, 7, etc infinity for the fun series equal 5 and 2 is equal 6, 7, 8 etc infinity and there is also one uh, array the series is there this is called Humphrey series Humphrey series and one equals six. So what are the n two values? You can guess. Up to infinity. So so these are mainly useful for different problems based on a hydrogen spectra or any hydrogen like spectra. So all the formulas are different different topics they ground like but all formulas should be at one place. Okay, so formulas are total because the problems are very important in this chapter. And there is some more formulas first like related to spectra. The main is number of spectral lines number of spectral lines in a transition 
number of spectral lines is equal the formula is n into n minus 1 by 2 okay so this is general formula so when it is, it is not applicable all times it is just applicable only this formula is applicable only when electron de excited means that if a transfer to de excited to n equal first level n equal first level n equal one only from any higher state or any higher level so this formula is applicable only for any higher level on the one locus there here n is equal to so what is the n here n indicates what the number of higher level a number of higher orbit bases so if lower level also lower level compulsory one okay lower level where they have a choice lower level where they open this formula is not applicable and now see the other formula which is applicable for all type of transitions all type of transition means uh, for example this formula general very easy for calculation but uh, if they put possible of the entire number of spectral lines for example second level to first level third level to first level fourth level to first level fifth level six any higher level which first level lo kochinapudu how many spectral lines are formed during that transition only given by this formula for example the some questions may be like that the an electron is de excited from fourth level to second level or sixth level to second level or any third level but i first level ga kuda different bunch bunch of levels ichinapudu so how to calculate the number of spectral lines so there is other formula for number of spectral lines is equal to can write n into n plus 1 by 2 so this formula is where so here the important one this is applicable for all type of no specific for all types of de-excitations and A level and A level question no problem but what is N here N to N is called N higher minus N lower this is the important point for this uh, using this formula okay so we could have n value direct the sub we could have n value direct the higher level area than the sub to this system we could have n value n2 minus n1 but if uh, you put n2 1 n2 n1 under the higher level minus lower level chest to the n plus the sub to the other and next uh, other important one number of spectral lines in a particular series okay number of spectral lines in a particular series okay so, okay so the number of lines in a specific series so for example if the the uh, this uh, above two formulas tells about uh, the total number of lines in the de excitation of electron from higher level to first level i think any of the levels this is two now in these levels low how many Bama series lines are formed? For example, we go 10 lines forming and put them. Then the Lyman series lines, Bama series lines, Passion, Dragon, a specific number of lines 
in a particular series challenge time we need to do that is n2 minus n1 okay n2 minus n1 for example of the electron uh, fifth level nunchi uh, first level ki dxz and antunna after number of electrons in bamana series lyman series so lyman series lines have okay this is n2 this is n1 for lyman series we know that four line format for example so what are the bama series lines this is 5 minus what is the n1 for bama series 2 very three lines okay so when i total calculate this we will get the 10 lines Yes, this is an example for this. Okay, these are the formulas related to spectra. Okay. Now you see some other formulas. Okay, so the next we see the formulas present in Bohr's atomic model. Okay, so the main formula in Bohr's atomic model is a quantization of angular momentum. That is known as angular momentum. M V R is equal to N H by two pi. Mass of electron, velocity of electron, radius of orbit. Here N equal to any positive integer. That is number of orbit. H Planck constant two. We know that pi. We know that. So next. Main formula for radius of orbit. Radius of an orbit. So R equal to the general formula is expression is n square h square by four pi square m e square into z. So general ga in normal Bohr's atomic model it is given only for hydrogen atom. Around z plus low, then now the z is equal to just one cover to the list of. But here we are calculate, we are giving formulas for the calculation of all type of problems. So cover type of problems, so that means hydrogen is one of the hydrogen like atoms. But the one electron system is not like the other. So cover type. So z tumble sir mentioned this. Okay. So by substituting all these values. All the constants present here. We got a constant and a subtract this say here. We will get a zero point five two nine. In some books, it is also given as zero point five three into n square by z. Answers are. Ah, it can be written as minus eight. Into n square by z centimeters. Okay, that is for radius. Now we see energy of electron or an orbit. So there is a uh, many equations are for there for energy. Okay, write it.
you see energy of uh, electron or orbit so energy of electron in an orbit so what is the main expression this minus 2 pi square m e power 4 by n square h square into z square so here again what are the, what are the variables n square z square are only the variables so remaining all values are constants so for electron orbit this is mass of electron this is charge of electron Planck constant number of uh, orbit so this is a variable change of the z hydrogen like atoms change of three. so remaining constants are the circuit just here we get a minus 2 point 1 8 into 10 to the power of 11 minus 11 into z square by n square okay in terms of x Seven. again we will get 18 z square and square this is in terms of joules okay. we write the properly to these equations if you want to do the all calculations in this chapter, we must remember so all type of uh, formulas in all type of units. And there is some other units are also there for E. Into Z square by N square. electron holes per atom then we write some other units remaining same z square they are in kilo calories per mole alright there is a main value that is 13 12 to z square by n square. They are kilojoules per mole. Okay. So these are the different uh, equations to calculate uh, energy of electrons present in an nth orbit. So, general amount of uh, practice is a total that are multiple answers. So, multiple questions. So, options for money, they may be in different units. Okay. So, but just, uh, so normal calculation, we can do any of these formulas. But in option, there may be any of these units. That's why we need to know all formulas in all units. Here may interview to know the relations the electron volts in a joules. So this values is also useful in photoelectric effect formula. Photoelectric formula would have way to convert uh, this electron volt value.
Can experience some other formulas that is for Rydberg constant. So this also comes under Bohr's atomic model. Rydberg's equation. Uh, nothing but it is used for Rydberg constant equation. Rydberg constant R equals can be written as 2 pi square m z e power 4 sorry z square e power 4 by and h cube see h cube actually this is the equation proposed by Niels Bohr for calculating Rydberg constant so it is not that uh, Rydberg constant means this value is not given by the Rydberg. This formula is not given by the Rydberg. This formula is given by Niels Bohr in his atomic model to calculate the Rydberg's constant. So which is exactly gives uh, by calculating this Bohr's expression for Rydberg constant we will get uh, 109680 centimeter inverse. But we know the experimental value that is 109677 centimeter inverse. That is the experimental value. Thus, this is the guesser. Guesser means sir, in terms of calculated value given by this formula, imaginary given by Niels Bohr. Both are correlated. So, next another equation the important in formulas. Difference of energy between two Bohr's orbits. Two Bohr orbits of Hydrogen atom, the energy difference between the two Bohr's orbit is uh, having this exact formula that is RHC. 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. This is the lower level, this is higher level. Okay, so for uh, this is for hydrogen atom. So, what about for hydrogen like atoms? In, diff in all books, there is a term. Always uh, remember hydrogen-like atoms. Hydrogen-like atoms means uh, all one electron species. Okay, one electron atoms or ions. All one electron systems are called hydrogen-like atoms. Simple the formula is changed for R H C. 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square into z square. Okay. So here z is equal to automatic number of that particular ion or atom, whatever. Next, in Bohr's uh, equation, there is one another important equation given that velocity of electron in an orbit. So, V is equal to general formula 2 pi z e square by n h. Two pi z e square by n h. Again, here variables are n and z are variables. So by substituting all these values, the velocity of a, a particular electron to z by m. So it is in centimeter per second. Means we are following this. 
we will get the value in centimeter per second okay you can convert into meters per second okay so these are the different uh, equations different expressions given by niels bohr atomic model in niels bohr atomic model which are exactly gives the values near to the experimental values so ipudu ya kichana formulas tho manam values calculate chestam energy ki radius ki uh, velocity ki difference of energy ki rydberg constant ki so all these values are calculated by niels bohr formulas are having correlated values 99% correlated values with the experimental values so that is the greatness of a niels bohr theory and his equations next we see the formulas in uh, de broglie's theory okay the main equation for de broglie's theory so de broglie theory mainly proposed by de broglie for the wave nature of microscopic particles lambda is equal to h by mv okay mass into value we can write moment and we can write p these are general formulas and there is some a very rare formulas mainly used in advanced calculations that is h by root of 2m kinetic energy again there is one of uh, another equation charge into voltage the dot electron volts here e means charge of electron v means uh, potential difference that is treated as voltage next number of revolutions number of revolution of an electron in one second and the one electron of orbit to the any of a second or any times uh, revolute of them any times move of them so this is mainly important formula that is well uh, it depends on velocity of electron okay velocity of electron and about the circumference of that circular orbit circumference okay so this is the in one second is velocity of electron by circumference of that particular orbit okay so there is one more uh, equation is there in de broglie's theory that is uh, 2 pi r equal to n lambda so this is the basic condition for the agreement for the agreement of niels bohr theory and de broglie's theory okay here 2 pi r is circumference and is equal to 1 2 3 that is lambda so this is called uh, electron is present in phase so electron is in phase and apodo this formula is applicable if 2 pi r is not equal to n lambda 
that is treated as electron is out of phase okay so these are the formulas for de broglie's equation or de broglie's theory now we see the formulas in heisenberg's uncertainty principle for the merge the formula there is only few two formula so there so delta x into delta p greater than or equal to But generally in formulas, uh, in calculations, we will take only is equals. Okay, it's not calculation purpose. So when we are writing all these equations, property, I am writing just equal. Okay, or delta x into in the place of we can write delta v is equal to h by four pi. Okay. So these are the equations, and next uh, for Schrodinger equation there is no need, so it is not useful in the calculation. So we are not writing any points about the Schrodinger's wave equation. Now the very important based on the quantum numbers. Oh, sorry, okay, quantum numbers based. Uh, In quantum numbers topic, we uh, have the different quantum number values, but they are not treated as the uh, formulas. The main formulas uh, related to the quantum numbers are that is angular momentum, angular momentum of the electron. In an orbit is equal to h by two pi. So I'm writing this here. Okay, h by two pi root of l into l plus one. This is application of uh, azimuthal quantum number. So in the place of h by two pi. Say one formula. H by two pi plus law in some books it is given. H slash. Okay. Root of l into l plus one. Okay. There is also one. The last formula in quantum numbers is spin angular momentum. This is angular momentum of electron. Now this is the spin angular momentum. Ah, uh, we can write spin momentum. That is equal to h by two pi root of s into s plus one. In the place of h by two pi, we can write h bar or h slash. Okay, these are the different formulas related to the quantum numbers, and there is some last uh, formulas are there. Okay, the last one for diagrams. There is a. The center we saw that the number of uh, spherical or radial nodes is equal to n minus l minus one. And 
the number of angular nodes okay sorry the number of angular nodes are uh, they known as nodal planes okay this is equal to l total planes means sir uh, total number of nodes is equal to plus and minus and get can that is equal to n minus 1 and the number of peaks number of peaks in distribution curves is equal to n minus l okay Next, uh, is there any other formulas remained? Square root by values. And here, important one. Okay, here I am giving the already we know the number of nodal planes, but here I am giving the what is the the plane for example for px there is one plane is there so what is that plane yz is the nodal plane for px so this information so it was a very important one so here this write the table and total all formulas the one thing at last say that so all these formulas in the formulas in the atomic structure by taking different type of books we gather these formulas therefore my request is no need no neglect this uh, class and video this uh, give the concentration on this and write all formulas in notebook okay and it takes some time to buy had all the formulas but even by taking time just to practice them daily at least for 3 to 4 days okay